Hello to everybody who is attending the Send launch, the launch of the Social Entrepreneurship Netzwerk Deutschland. My name is Per Bach and I am the chairman of the Social Entrepreneurs in Denmark. So uh, Michael asked me if uh, I could share some of our experiences in starting a national organization for social entrepreneurs and maybe give some uh, recommendations. When we started, we had very little money or no money at all. So it was necessary for us to cooperate with more resourceful organizations in the field. So that's what we did actually. And uh, now uh, in because of this effort, we actually have uh, a lot of really good connections in the field. So what we did was to to cooperate with people who had uh, localities or maybe resources to uh, give coffee, tea or cakes or whatever. Uh, and then we could provide the uh, content for an event and the, the work in organizing the event. And this has worked out uh, pretty good. So that's one, one idea. Uh, and also it was helpful, it has been very helpful for us to have good connections uh, in the field whenever we have questions, when we need people to give presentations, etc. It's important to remember that it takes time to build a network once you start it. Uh, you need to nourish it, is our experience, for quite some time. So one important thing is uh, continuity, that you uh, have regularly uh, events, uh, but also that you um, Remember that uh, sometimes people can uh, attend an event and sometimes they're not able to attend an event. So if you want to build a community or uh, a network organization, it's important to make it possible for people who are not able to be there to follow sort of the activities. You can do this through uh, making small uh, resumes from your uh, from your events, taking pictures, sharing pictures from what has been happening is uh, a way to make people feel also that they are actually part of a community even though they are not able to attend meetings, conferences, etc. And then what we have also found is that it's important to have a, sort of a, a place, a common, common uh, information channel you could say that uh, you need to inform uh, people through uh, through the same channel but also a channel where they are able to participate so we for example have a huge uh, newsletter which we send out once a month and uh, we uh, we ask people or uh, invite people to also write about their stories uh, present their uh, social enterprise or the social entrepreneurship but uh, also maybe come with uh, if they have challenges that they want uh, to have help to or if they want uh, volunteers it's a place where they can ask questions and ask for help from other people in the community the same with our facebook page we don't regard our facebook page uh, as our own private uh, facebook page but we share a lot of information from from other people and ask them to please come and, and use uh, the Facebook page. Uh, also, if they have uh, some uh, questions or needs for help, you can ask through through the portal. So a common uh, information channel, you can say also to build a community around, around this. So I would uh, also suggest if you did not plan it already to have a, a newsletter, which uh, can be sort of a community foundation for, for SEND uh, that people can subscribe to, but also really use actively because, I mean, uh, everyone has a, a newsletter, but to have a newsletter that you actually use in an active uh, or interac interactive uh, way with the, the subscribers. Uh, and I'm very happy that there's yet another social entrepreneurship organization in Europe and we are looking very much forward to uh, cooperating with you in the future. Uh, so have a very nice celebration and uh, bye for now.